Okay, welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're kind of continuing with the Polar Pro filters, and we're flying with the uh, 16ND. We have it on here, and again, we're going to do some comparisons. We found out when we did the 8ND, we had a problem with the... Uh, uh, what am I looking for here, folks? Panorama. So... Uh, not going to try the panorama this time around. I'm simply going to try some photos and some video. And again, kind of want to get some comparisons really just to talk about, uh, you know, what to expect out of this, especially once the, they get these working again and what you should expect to see and that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead. I've already checked hover. I'm clear to fly. I'm good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and take this guy up. If I can push the right button. And so we're going to take this guy up. And we're going to clear this out. I got GPS. I'm going to start video. I'm going to do a little bit walk around. Now, one of the things you notice that the color, and one of the things when i doing these videos, I've obviously done them one right after the other is I wanted to do them in the same area to get a similar setting so you guys could really see what you know this looks like so I could do really do some good comparisons so again um, we got this what I want to do is take it up and out a little bit and I want to take this up a bit and the problem is I got the Sun really starting now to come into play but this is actually pretty good because, uh, like I say, this is really some of the first sunny days we've had. So it gives a, a good, uh, you know, uh, good, I'm just kind of paying attention to where I'm going. Uh, kind of gives uh, a good reference for using the higher ND filters because it is very bright out here. Now, typically, I would probably be shooting today with a 16 ND. So, uh, you know, this is about where I would be at. So we'll be able to do some comparisons. So we, we now, we're, we're kind of shooting a, a wrong, ooh, I'll spit it out here above the spillway. After doing so many of these, you kind of start twisting your words. So again, I want to spin it around. So we're looking the other way. So we're seeing that. So notice the, I mean, uh, at least on my screen, on the iPhone screen, which you probably can't see, I'm getting a really good color contrast uh, with the deeper uh, colors uh, from having the ND filter on adjusting sort of the exposure. So just kind of twist that around. So that's going pretty good. So I'm going to drop out of video mode now. And uh, what I want to do is I want to go back over to uh, camera. So I'm in single shot. So I'll get a couple shots for comparison. And then what I want to do is I'm going to yaw this back around. Let's get some of the other way. So I've got a few comparison shots. And uh, the thing I like is we have some uh, we have some nice clouds out there today, so uh, which really makes it kind of nice because I want to be able to kind of pick up the contrast of the clouds. And so I'm just gonna I've got some battery. I'm just gonna kind of fly it down this way. Oops, I should probably turn the video back on so you guys can see what I'm doing. So okay, video's back on. Uh, so I'm flying it back down this way, and we're just gonna we're just gonna take it for a humble little flight this way and I can see it this way a little bit better for the trees so I'm not going to go too far just kind of take it down show you guys what this uh, you know some of the video looks like with uh, you know flying it with the ND filters and so I'm just kind of keeping an eye on it whoops I'm keeping an eye on it I'm not watching where I'm walking and so we're just kind of taking it out yeah, we're getting it out there a bit. So what I want to do is I'm now going to spin it around. Do, do kind of a slow spin until I regain my orientation on the spillway. And then I'm going to head it back my way. And there we go. So I got the spillway in sight so I can bring and start bringing it back this way. So now I'm going to fly back. Yeah. I'm losing my that little gust took it a little bit off course. I'm having to do a little bit of adjustment. The wind's kicking up a little bit. 
So I want to make sure I stay on course here. So I don't know if you can see it out there. I'm bringing it back. A bit more clouds rolling in since I started, but not too bad. And we're just... Just want to make sure everything's clear. Like I say, I'm getting a little bit of wind kicking up here. So it's actually tipping the copter a little bit. So uh, I don't know if you can see the, the grass moving. I'm at, a, at about maybe a 3 to 4 mile per hour breeze. And again, I'm just kind of holding there uh, with this. And again, uh, as you're looking this way, you're seeing a far clearer sky. And you notice the video on the screen um, really has a deep, at least on my screen here, and I think it's going to come out on the video the same too. It's going to be a richer, richer blue, if you will, azure. It's technically the color of the blue sky. Uh, and again, I don't know, you can probably hear the wind kind of picking up. So uh, my battery's starting to get down there a little bit. So I think I'm going to bring it back around this way and uh, land it. So I think we've got enough, uh, you know, pictures as an example that we can uh, turn it around. And uh, I'll bring it back this way. And then we'll just... You know, I got—I got to tell you, this this one, I, I have had more fun with this quad than basically uh, any other one I've had. The versatility of it, the video capabilities. I really hope Polar Pro gets these problems worked out with these filters, uh, because I continue—I will continue to use these for just you know, as you're sort of seeing here, with the, those prop, the finger protectors and everything. It almost looks like a flying frog. Maybe you can see it up there. Let's bring it down a little bit. Yeah, we don't want to run into the tree trail. One, one of the problems, the wind's catching it a little bit. One of the problems is trying to see through my glasses, my reading glasses as well as kind of watch it. It gets kind of difficult. So, uh, again, still pretty stable with these uh, prop guards and stuff. Uh, normally out here in a situation like this, I probably wouldn't have the prop guards on where I can come into contact with more people. Um, just kind of messing around with it, seeing... I am getting a little bit of drift. It's, it's seeing me in its path. I tell you what, I love the collision avoidance uh, feature of this. And let's move this over here and then pull it forward. And let's see if I can get it a little bit closer to the pad. And let's bring it down. What I was kind of hoping is with that orange pad, I could actually, its downward looking camera would um, kind of pick it up against the green. Because I'm getting a little bit of drift from the wind. So I am going to go ahead and take it down. Oh, look at that landing, folks. Look at that landing. I tell you, that, that's a good landing. Low battery warning. Picked the perfect amount of time. The only complaint I still have about the Spark is I really just need like two or three minutes more battery. I know it sounds like a weird ask, but even that little bit of battery I think would make a huge difference in what this thing can do. So uh, I'm, I'm hoping, uh, because the batteries do feel a little bit light, that they can cram another cell or a bigger cell in there or something to, just to get those couple more minutes out in the future and sell an extended battery. But Anyways, be it what it may, uh, we've got the video, we've got some still footage, we got a little bit of wind to my back, it's kicking up, so anyways, uh, subscribe button's coming up over there, hey, let me know what you have for lunch, I know RJ Make was talking about the last time, chicken salad, I've got that on my list, it's been ages since I've had chicken salad, so RJ, thanks for sharing that with me, that's on the list. Now Norbert, your potato chip salad, I still got to think about that one. I just came from the doctor with the cholesterol and not a good thing. So I'm thinking I'm going to stick more maybe with the chicken salad with some fat-free mayo. But anyways, hit me up in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're using an ND16 filter, how it's working for you. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.